you guys aren't able to get over the hump against the Astros. Last three times you guys have been in the CS, they've been the team that's not been a problem. I'll, I'll just talk about this one. Um, you know, they just <laughs> they play better than us. You know, as simple as it is. You know, they came up with the big hits. Um, pitching staff did their job. You know, played great defense, and you know, that's what it really kind of comes down to. Aaron, how is it more difficult to see them, the Astros, celebrating on your field today? Uh, anybody, anybody celebrates on, you know, on that field. It's uh, it's not fun to watch, you know. So um, yeah, it doesn't really matter who it is. What has been the most difficult thing this postseason for you? Well, the most difficult thing is is losing. You know, I think that's what it really comes down to is you know not being the last team standing. Have you thought at all about what comes next for you? Uh, <laughs> Not, not at all. Not yet. Not yet. We got a. Uh, I got, I got plenty of time to figure that out. Did you spend any time today thinking about how this could be the last game, home game for you here? Did no. You take anything in? No, nah, not at all. Not at all. I try to go out there and do my job and you know help this team win. And um, I really didn't. I really didn't think it would. What about after it was here. over? Uh, it, it happened so quick. You don't really, you know, have time to soak much in. Your manager was out there saying how important it was for him to give you guys a message this year. What was your message uh, to your team after today? Message to the team? Yeah. I'll, I'll keep that. I'll keep that private with the okay. guys that were in this in this clubhouse with us. Was there like one you know one thing that you want to share? You know because Booney did share a couple of those things. So what was important for him to say? Mm -hmm. you know, is there anything you would like to share? Uh, everything I said is for the guys in this room. You know, it's not meant for anybody else. Aaron, what is the process for you now? You know, your future is a little open-ended. How, how does it all break down? How, when do you get started on thinking, thinking it over, uh, acting on it, all that stuff? Yeah, that's, that's all going to run through my agent. You know, I haven't even, haven't even thought about the next step yet. Um, you know, but like I said, we got, we got time to figure it out. Um, you know, I've never been in this spot before, so I really don't have an answer for you. There are guys in this room like Garrett. Giancarlo, who have signed huge deals, have they ever talked to you about what their process was like in their respective situations? Yeah, I talked to G a little bit, but his was a little different, just being an extension, you know, staying with, with the Marlins. Um, you know, Cole, we, we talked a little bit about his process, not much. Um, I think he kind of had his mindset on where he wanted to be, so um, yeah, we, I, haven't, I haven't asked him too much. Maybe the next couple of days I might so you don't have the mindset then, like he did? You know, I've never, never been a free agent. We'll see what happens. In your mind, is the gap between you guys and Houston as big as the series turned out to be? You know, it's tough to say because I could sit here and make excuses about, you know, if a ball falls this way, a ball drops that way, or a pitch is made here and there. Um, but what it comes down to is they just played better than us, played better defense, came up with the big hits, and, mm -hmm. you know, came away with the series, you know. So I can't, I really don't want to sit up here and, you know, make any excuses for what happened. You always talk about success and really lack of late term success or failure. How do you look at the season right now and think that will change over time? <laughs> like, like I've told you guys over the years, you know, if you don't, if we're not the last team standing, you know, it doesn't matter what you do, what happened, it's, you know, it's a failure. You know, we, we, we came up short. You know, didn't you know finish our goal? You know, like I told you guys throughout the year, you know, our first step was to win our division, put ourselves in a good position to go through the postseason, and you know we got step one done, and you know, made it through the DS, but you know, couldn't couldn't capitalize on a couple things here in the CS to kind of help ourselves, you know, to the World Series. Aaron, do you think the goal, the pursuit of 62, took a goal? Oh, uh, not at all. You know, I was I was just out there playing a game. And, you know, I didn't really think about it as a toll or a burden or stuff like that. You know, I just try to take it the same as I did you know, every single other game, you know. And then come in the postseason, you know, first couple of games didn't go how I liked. But, you know, I felt like I turned it around a little bit, didn't get the results I wanted to. And, you know, that's, that's all on me, you know, for not stepping up when the team needed it. Can you Aaron, what happens next? Are you proud of your time here? Say that one more time. Sorry, very short. I got you. <laughs> Regardless of what happens yeah, next, true. are you proud of the time you've been here? Yeah, getting a chance to, you know, wear the pinstripes and, you know, play right field at Yankee Stadium. It's, it's, 
that's an incredible honor that you know I definitely didn't take for granted. You know, at any point, you know, I always check myself pregame. You know, when I say a little prayer, you know, I kind of look around the stadium and you know, kind of pinch myself that you know, there's very few individuals that get a chance to run out on that field and do that and you know play in front of the fans. You know, that support us throughout this throughout my whole you know six years here. So um, you know, it was it was a special time. You know, I just kick myself for not. You know, bring home that championship for him. That you know. Aaron, why do you think the second half of this season was so much tougher than the first half? Say it again. Why do you think the second half of this season was so much more difficult for you guys than the first half? Uh, it, it's tough to say. You know, it's, it's a long season, so you're going to have ups and downs. You know, we could have scuffled early in the year, and then people will be asking us what was, you know, the issue early in the year. You know, it's just it's every good team goes through those spells where things aren't going your way, balls not falling your way, and you know, for us, it just kind of happened, you know, after that second half a little bit. But you know, we were able to rebound and you know continue to stay in first place in our division and put ourselves in a good spot for the postseason. But you know, then once we got here, we just couldn't capitalize on a couple things and you know, finish the job. Is your goal still to remain a Yankee? What's that? Is your goal still to remain a Yankee? Yeah, I've you know been clear about that. You know, since I first wore the pinstripes, but you know we couldn't get something done before spring training, and you know I'm a free agent. We'll see what happens. Does this? I know you've never done this before. Does this excite you? Nerve nerve wracking the free agency. I mean, I'm sure you've heard stories, but I mean, you've earned this right. Is it? Exciting, or what has it feel? I'm a little indifferent right now. You know, just still got the, the taste of the game in my mouth. But uh, you know, I'll spend some time with family, things, think things over, and you know, we'll see what happens. Aaron, you're talking about that bad taste in your mouth. What is, what particularly sits badly with you right now? What's, what's the toughest part? Oh, losing. You know, it's. You know, I tried to do what I can all year to help this team out, and. And when you come up short in any any aspect, it's you know never leaves a good taste in your mouth. Can you sum up your season, your thoughts about the season you've had? Uh, that's, that's tough to do right now. I don't have I don't have all the words to describe this year. You know, it's um, you know I can really say it's been a, it's been a pleasure and an honor getting a chance to suit up with the guys in this room. You know, I could look around at every single locker and. You know, have something great to say about these guys that you know impacted me on a daily basis, and you know it's the guys in this room that makes it so special coming to work here. And um, you know, I'm gonna miss a lot of those guys. Aaron, you had a conversation like this six times at an end of the year, right, where you guys didn't get where you wanted. Do you think there's any commonality when you, especially look at the opposing team, that this has been that has been lacking for you, or why you haven't been able to take that step that you obviously want to take as a team? You know, if I had the answer for what we were lacking, you know, I think we would have would have addressed it by now. You know, I, as a player, all I can do is show up and, and do my best every single day with the guys I'm fighting with, and you know, that's what you know, front office management, everybody else, you know, they take care of the stuff behind the scenes, and you know, we we had all the individuals in this room to you know bring home a championship. You know, in my mind, no doubt. You know, it's a special group we have here, and you know, we battled out there and. You know, like I said, they had an answer for us. You know, at every turn, you know, we put a three spot up for them in the first two innings, and they come out with a big three-run homer. You know, and it just continued the whole game. And like I said, we just couldn't couldn't throw that last punch.